My name is Nick Broomfield and I made the uh, feature film Battle for Haditha, uh, which I hope you enjoy. You motherfuckers wanna sit around and do shit? Who the fuck pulled that trigger? Who the fuck I set that bomb found when I started this film that I had kind of mentally I already had preconceptions, I had sides. I felt very angry with the Marines for killing the people. Um, I didn't really understand anything about who were insurgents or why they were doing what they were doing. And I knew very little about life in Iraq, really. Who are these people? What are they like? Are they uncivilized? Are they all these kinds of questions? Right here, the first two houses on the left, we got intel that says there's suspected insurgent activity. All right, round up the suspects. There's a list of them right here. We got the grid coordinates on there and make it happen. All right. What I did, first of all, was to meet with the Marines who were there on that day. And I saw that they were, you know, 17-year-old kids who'd never been out of the States before, very badly educated. A number of them have been in, in gangs, that kind of thing. To meet, because they were so traumatized by being in Iraq, they really couldn't sit down. They were having nightmares and were, you know, I guess it's post-traumatic stress that they were suffering from. And I felt it was very important to really try and show in the film what kind of people they were and how these incidents happened. He's ready to cross over there and clear those houses. My fire team, we're going over there and clear those. Whoever the fuck you did this shit is around somewhere. We're going to make a fucking pay. I think one of the problems is that uh, this is different from Vietnam. Um, you don't have conscription, so middle class kids are not being killed in Iraq. So the American public are like sort of they don't really want to be involved in the war. You don't have people protesting in the streets. You've just got poor uh, minority group kids going out there being killed. If middle class Americans felt that their kids were going to be killed, I think that there would be a whole different attitude. <laughs> I think the American public generally have no idea who the Iraqis are. They're just like these, these people who uh, mistreat their women. I think all Iraqi people are somehow confused as being members of Al-Qaeda. There's a sort of blurring. I think a lot of the American public think that um, the Iraqis are, were involved in 9-11. Hopefully are taken back to the humanity of the situation in a very simple way, which I think makes a lot more sense than reading the reports and so on that we see in our newspapers every day.